foils robbery at Fortuna's Meat House, and Icicle Man saves scientists from North Pole, and Hose Man puts out fire in Department Store. It's time we broke into the world of superheroes. Morton Phil, get in here. Ah! Hey, watch it, Chief. This sea urchin disguise of mine is very fragile. Wow! <laughs> Ocean-dwelling invertebrates, Chief. Hey, ah. good morning, Chief. Good morning, indeed. It's nice to see an agent who isn't gonna stick needles in my hand. Ah, my hand! I, I was gonna sew that button on my shirt. Ah, Phil, my dear boy, would you mind bringing your face a few centimeters towards mine? Bring my face forward, Chief? What, here, huh? Eh? That's ah. perfect, my boy. That should do it. <laughs> Gee, what's wrong? You seem at a loss for words today, boss. That's <laughs> just how I like it. <laughs> Gee, boss, you've been stitched up. Very good, Mort. Ah, yes, we were waiting for you. <laughs> Listen up, you two. I realize reading isn't exactly your strong point. Mm. Mm. But have you taken a look at the newspapers? Mm. Mm -hmm. These guys can't even read the funny pages. Can either of you tell me when you last appeared in a newspaper story that didn't have something to do with human catastrophe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The obituaries, that's where I'd like to see them. Well, that's all gonna change thanks to the research of our own scientist, Dr. Bacterium. He has stuff to make you as strong as 10 men. <laughs> I'm here at your request, huh? Mr. L. Huh? Mm -hmm. I brought the material you asked for. And what material is that? What are you doing here, Dr. Bacterium? With your permission, uh, Mr. L, <laughs> then I will proceed. <laughs> I have put together a series of little gadgets that will make the user practically invincible. They can turn into sardine men for underwater operations, pelican men to swoop through the sky, and this will give them the strength of a team of mules. Jeez. These <laughs> items are the product of careful scientific <laughs> research. We'll start with this. Its ultrasonic vibrations will turn you into walking pneumatic drills. You'll be able to travel underground easily. You'll be transformed into worm uh, men. Come on, try You're it. senior, boss. You go first. I don't want all the glory. Underground, buried alive. Hey, look, boss, it's working. You're already starting to go through the floor. Yes, right through the floor. And right through huh? my antique Persian rug. Wow, that was a really powerful throw, Chief. You got a really good arm there. You got him right through the nose. Huh? Well, it certainly mm -hmm. seems to work. Maybe I should try it. Hey, boss, you shouldn't have brought that bell in here, you know. I don't think the priest is going to be very happy about it. <laughs> you need glasses, Ophelia. You're too close to the typewriter. You know? I'm not blind. <laughs> huh? I hate to say I told you so, but you were too close to that typewriter. Come back, Bode Wode. I only want to show you what it's like to get close to a rotten implement. I think you'll get my point. <laughs> well, it seems Ophelia didn't like the crash landing too much, huh? We should have tried this contraption out on the street, not inside. Come on, boss. Let's go out now and try huh? it. Oh! There's no danger out in the street, Mort, so just watch. <laughs> He's hit the water main! A high voltage cable! And an old army bomb! <laughs> Mark, where are you, you coward? Come back huh? here! Come on, boss! I just found out Sylvester Acorn's hideout is right around the corner! Come on! Sylvester Acorn, we gotta catch him any way we can, Mort! Don't worry, boss. I got an idea. We can use that gadget you can tunnel underground, then come up on the inside, surprise him, and we can run him in! Huh? Okay, let's do it! You can start trembling, Acorn! Yeah, he should be beyond the wall by now. Time to go up. You're under arrest, Acorn. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, boss, what are you doing with that bowling ball? So Sylvester Acorn hangs out in the bowling alley, does he turn brain? Ah, you stupid fool. I swear an excuse for walking disaster area, are you? Yeah. Hey, maybe my angle of descent was wrong. Now, if I go straight down vertically... <laughs> Bon voyage, keeping a straight line. Now, I must keep a straight line. Now, two degrees east. Uh-oh, how's he going to find his way down there? He doesn't know where to go. Uh, the way I see it, I should be just about there. The new tree's going here, so you just dig a nice big hole. Okay. Ah! Huh? Ah! Hey, have you seen my boss around here? Huh? Wrapped up in your work again, huh? I was gonna ask if you wanted to try again, boss, but I guess you're tied up. 
I'd keep quiet if you don't want to eat this girder. Huh? Oh, well, I guess I'll have to show him what can be achieved when a person shows some initiative around here. Huh? Hey! Whoa. Oh, no, Whoa. you don't. This time I'll direct the operations and we'll go down there together. Okay, but stop pushing! Oh no, the police are after me. If they catch me holding this bomb, I'm a dead man. I'd better get rid of it. <laughs> According to my calculations, we're right underneath Acorn's hideout. Which means we should be under the port lighthouse. Watch this black ball, Mort. Stop fooling around! <laughs> Mort! Phil! Long time no see! Hey, what's happened to you two? Nothing, but we're fed up to the back teeth with the TIA and all its missions. We want another line of work. Well, it just so happens I have two positions for prospectors in my oil company. All you have to do is dig a few little holes in the ground and the jobs are yours. Little holes. In response to his generous offer of work, the two maniacs put him in a hole which they filled with cement up to his neck, then put red ants down his shirt. Police are seeking two psychopaths. We went too far, don't you think? I huh? don't have to think and neither do you. Now keep his tail up so he doesn't submerge, okay? Pull hard, Mutt, or he'll dive. What a way to travel. Oh, I don't know, boss. I've always loved going on the railway. Here we are again, Dr. Bacterium. These two brave agents, Mort and Phil, have volunteered to be transformed into superheroes. Excellent, Mr. L. Everything has been prepared. What'll they be this time, Doctor? Cockroach men? Garbage men? No, sardine men. Where do you think you're going, you cowards? You'll be able to swim like a sardine without coming up for air. Now turn around and bend over. Just a couple of shots, you'll take to it like a fish to water. That's how I like to see them, nice and still. Okay, Doctor Magicus, you can unhypnotize them now. They come. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh. Doctor, what's wrong with those two now? Now they've been transformed into sardine men, they feel the most tremendous need for water. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You'll make a mess on the floor. No, 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 no. keep away from me. Oh, oh, ah! Okay, fellas, a joke's a joke. Let me out. I'm getting claustrophobic. It's hot in here. Oh, I've told you before, that's Dr. Bacterium, <laughs> not Garbage Man. Now you will take him out of that incinerator at once. I'm drier than a piece of chalk. Water, I've got to have water. Get down to the port and use your sardine senses to find out who's smuggling in illegal goods. Now get out! Ahoy! Huh? I always thought that running away to sea was best done in a boat. This is so cool and refreshing, I think I'll ever take that boat. You have to go under the boat if you don't want to get hit by the oars. Come on! I'm hungry! I even hurt my head down here. Boy, I've been working up a real appetite down here. Hey, I think I got a bite. Boy, it's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. I caught one once, it was huge. Oh. Sure, funny looking bridge. Oh. Oh. Hey, where have you been? Getting caught up in my work, boss. Let's just keep looking for those smugglers. Whoa! So, there's a yacht anchored over there. Shall we investigate? Yeah, come on. Oh! We need to find out what oh. they're saying. Get your whiskey oh. device out. Whoa! Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. I want whiskey positioned in the stern. Right, boss. Whiskey in the stern. Oh no, smugglers! They got whiskey in the stern, boss. Smugglers, huh? Well, this mines have put an end to their game. Huh? Oh. Quiet! As we've got Miss Whiskey in the stern, we're ready to shoot. Ready to roll camera. I appreciate you inviting me to see you shoot this film. Hey! I'm sure the film will be a big hit, Miss Whiskey. <laughs> Look, it's a chief. Where did he come from? Smugglers, huh? Whiskey, huh? Huh? Here's the whiskey, you little shrimp, you idiot, you cockroach. I'll break you. Come back here, you mollusk, you shrimp. Mort! What's that? In your hand! A bonbon, chief. How many times have I told you that you're not allowed to eat whilst you're working? Now put it in this wastebasket here. Well, chief, ah, I guess yes. it's not exactly a bonbon, more of a bomb bomb, really. Someone planted it here. I was going to throw it out the window, but if you insist on ah. the wheat paper basket... <laughs> Maybe the window would have been better, Chief. Come back here, Melon Head. I got something for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Blame me. Wow! Anything goes wrong around here, I get the bird. Grr, you. Huh? Ah. And what might Agent Phil be up to? Is he also throwing bombs into waste paper baskets? No, Chief, absolutely not. Well, I'm glad to hear it.
I couldn't find one, so I left the bum where you are. What? You left it here? Mr. L, are you here at all? Mr. L, I've got something to show you. I'm rather busy at the moment, Dr. Bacterium. Phil and I are gonna play a game called Roll Out the Barrel. Oh, uh, hey! Huh? Couldn't we just talk about this for a moment, Chief? And roll! Oh, 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 my! And another thing, damage that barrel and you'll pay for it. Beast face, I need help with a ticklish operation. Take care of these simple-minded half-wits. Dr. Bacterian's got something new he wants to try, and I don't want them to miss out on any part of it. Is that clear? <laughs> well, Doctor, what are these credentless crime fighters gonna be now, huh? Well, I am oh, coating oh, yeah. their feet with special mud. All they have to do is flap their arms and they can fly. So now the bird brains have got bird wings. Beast face, now! Okay, Beast face, you can let them go. Birdman, bacterium gets right up my nose. Um, do you think we can fly home? I'm sure that you could. Your head's already lighter than air. Hey, look over there. It's Agent Berenice. I haven't seen him for ages. Hiya, Berenice. How do you do? Oh, hey, boss. I'm going ah. up in the world. And one more thing, you two. I don't want any more foul-ups, so someone around here is going to lose some teeth. Now, do you understand? <laughs> 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 Oh, the chief really bit my head off that time. Well, it worked. You waved your arms and you took off. I didn't wave anything. I was just calling bear knees and... And I'm telling you, I saw you waving your arms. Oh, come on, boss. Me? Take off? That's right. You flapped huh? your arms up huh? and down and you took off. Hey! hey, what's up, boss? Apart from you, I mean. Now I understand. They're just doing this to annoy me. Well, we'll soon see about that. And boy, have I got a surprise for those two. Oh! <laughs> No, boss, you don't wear typewriters. You have to type on them like this, see? Mm. Mm. Now I'm going to show you another use for a typewriter. Hey, boss, wear it if you want to. Whoa! Whoa. Agent Phil, that typewriter is coming out of your wages. Now we know it really works. This is great. All we have to do is to flap our arms and away we go. I'm flying. I'm as free as a bird. And I got a bird's eye view of the whole city. Stand back. Launch imminent. Hey! Oh, boy! No! Huh? Where did the boss get to? He was right here a moment ago. Oh, yeah. near the sun, boss. Uh, how would you like to know what it feels like to be a turkey at Christmas? When the boss gets as mad as this, all I can do is turn chicken and run. Taxi! Ha. Come on, you idiot. We'll take this taxi and go elsewhere. We should have better luck in the country than here. Come on. Ooh, look out, boss. A wasp has gotten to the back of this taxi. Oh, oh look at there, Godfrey. That must be one of them there aero taxis they're always talking about. I told you not to wave your arms, dummy. We only do that out of doors. Now stop waving them right now. Uh, uh, mm. I didn't mean for you to stop uh. waving your arms immediately. I wanted you to let us down gently, you idiot. What's the matter with you, you moron? Well, huh. Here we are, nothing but open sky. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey that's better! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> hey, Clarence, how'd you like to meet? Yeah. Hey, it's rare, and I like it well charred! <laughs> ah. Now, where's the boss got to this time? There he is. Hey, boss, what's going on? Right! Barbecuing a guy. The only thing barbecued around here is his brain. Okay, turn it to the uh, sergeant. Uh, I'm coming, boss. It looks like you got your wires crossed a little bit there, boss, but don't worry, I'll cool you down with this. Now, don't forget to say when. There. Oh. Hey, boss, uh. look over there. It's Mac the Throat Chewer on the other side of the river. Come on, boss, we can take him. Now, we can knock him down and tie him up. If he makes a move on us, we just take off like birds. Well, let's go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> got you, you repellent tub of lard. I'm arresting you in the name of the T.I.A. Careful, what? There. I'm glad you found me. I was getting hungry. Okay, here we go. Hey, boss, I can't take off. Nor can I. It's not working. We must look pretty stupid. Where do you two lovebirds think you're going? You look like you could use a little plucking, you feather brain duck face baboons, you. Ah, gentlemen, come in. Now you know that you can fly, I must warn you, never get your feet wet or the effect will wear off and you won't be able to fly at all. <laughs> hey, what happened? Where's the fire? Uh, hold on. Hey, what are you doing? Put me down. We'll see how you like fly. Right. There's nothing to it, really. You don't even have to wave your arms. Ah! Mort, where are you? I need you in here right now. Pathetic excuse for a special agent that you are. Get in here. I'm trying my huh? Siamese disguise, Chief. Oh, so, a Siamese cat, huh? Here's something for you. Ah! Oh, what kind of cat is that? Oh, just what are you two playing at in there? 
Huh? I was just trying my new Siamese twins disguise with Agent Beast Face. Why did you have to go and kick him that hard for? Now, oh, hey, I think Mr. L prefers to shave himself rather than to have his mustache hairs pulled out one by one, Agent Beast Face. Don't you think that's a bit cruel? No, oh, what are you doing now, Chief? Don't you think you should calm down? Oh, oh. I got some shaving I want to do myself! No, oh, it's okay, Chief. I always use hair-removing cream. Oh, the Chief wants to come up my assets! It looks to me like the Chief got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. Stick out your tongue oh. now! Oh. Stick it out for what? And the oh. Siamese twin! You both gotta have a physical, so stick your tongues out and close your eyes. And there! Swallow it! Good! Ah! Okay, Bacterium, they're yours. They've swallowed the pills. What are you turning them into? They've been turned into walking jinxes. Anyone near them will suffer terribly bad luck. <laughs> they will be almost invincible. <laughs> ah! Well, they certainly brought him a whole barrel full of bad luck. Okay, you two, get out there. Go and arrest some bad guys. Just get out of my office before you bring me any bad luck. Oh, it's starting already. Ah! Go on, oh, go! I told you that nail was just too big, Beast Face. Do you think we're walking jinxes, boss? That was just coincidence. Ah! Well, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks a lot, you two mugs. I really needed that. Oh, hello, boys. Have you seen my new typewriter? It's portable, you see. You can lift it up. Huh? Oh, Mark, Phil, look! I got a new chair. Look, it spins and everything. Huh? You can't keep oh, good girl down. We better take Irma to the doctor, boss. Come on. There's the elevator. Easy now. Hold it, boss. She's got her hair caught in the door. If I can just... Oh, I dropped her. Me too. We better get her to that doctor like now. You think the doc getting hurt by the x-ray machine was a jinx, boss? Falling on that needle was. Mort, we just gotta get out of here. We're bad luck. We better get out of here while we can before we turn the TIA into a morgue. So let's go. Hey, look, Agent Beastface. Hiya there, guys. You see my new car? Take a look at her. <laughs> Rotten door. I get back in this car. I'm gonna go and see that dealer. I don't believe it. The steering wheel came off in my hand. Man, this Let's get out of here, boss. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> well, there's no one around here, so we can't cause any more accidents. Uh, nobody except us. Whoa. Oh, great. I can even bring myself bad luck. So I... Thanks a lot, boss. Just because you have some bad luck, I have to get it too, right? Well, that's real friendly of you. Huh? Ah! Whoa! How the heck did that elephant fall out of those cargo doors? Oh, just shut up. Carrying this large horseshoe is the only way to ensure against bad luck. Yeah, now let's see if we can't hit that bearded boffin right in the teeth. Ah! No, I don't know where Maud is. Look under a rock. Huh? <laughs> an old mule. Mort says he's disguised as an old yeah. mule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying out one of his old mule disguises on the firm's time, huh? Huh? What? Hey, what's going on here? Oh! Uh, hi, Chief. So, you're dressed as an old mule, huh? Well, then maybe you uh, need some new horseshoes. No, How thanks, about Chief. This? These dancing slippers will do me fine. Whoa. Whoa. Where's your idiot friend? He's dealing with aces. <laughs> I'll teach him to play cards on my time. Let that be a lesson to you. Hey, that sounds more like a bark than a moan, I wonder. Ah! Of course it's a bark, Chief. I mean, when I said that Phil was dealing with aces, I meant he was feeding aces a guard dog. Oh. He's called aces because he's always winning first prize for being the fiercest dog around, you know? Not interested? I'll deal with you later. Now then. Right, it's time for your annual hearing test. Whoa. You put your ears next to those little holes oh. and tell me whether you hear Stokowski's concerto oh. in C major or my wagon by Escobar. Now jump to it! Get going! All I can hear is a kind of squishy sound. There! Concentrated elephant serum. Whoa. Now you have heavy feet like elephants. Ah, now wait a minute. Uh, oh no, what are you ah. doing? You can't take my trousers off like that. Twelve liters of laxative. Oh boy, am I in trouble. You've got the stomping power of jackhammers. Go and stomp some bad guys. Yeah, bus ran over it, and even the weight of a fly on it now makes it hurt like the flaming bejeebies. Oh, hi there, Beast Face. Ah! Stop 
knock it into the ground. Hey, boss, you see that? This elephant stuff really works. Keep moving, running nose. This papoose is no place to be right now. Ah, come back here, fellas. What's the matter? You haven't tried my other foot yet. Come back here. Yeah. Wait. I don't want you to dirty my clean floor. Well, it's still clean. I think hopping down the stairs was a mistake, boss. You may be right. Boy, this is some puzzle. One big leap and there's no need to get wet at all. You hit the water main, boss. I guess you still must be unlucky. Why is it me that always ends up soaking wet? Wait here a minute while I put my shoe up, will ya? Oh, well, at least your feet will be clean now. No! Oh. Oh. Daddy, a policeman tree. Do they have to plant a trench in? Uh, let's get out of here. We'll be safer back in the country again. We better take the car. You drive, Mort. I don't uh, feel up to it. Don't worry, boss. I used to drive a cattle truck in the country, so I'm used to carting pigs around. You know I hate to say this, boss, but I think you're losing your sense of humor. It won't start, boss. Push the accelerator right down to the floor, dummy. Huh? No, why, you stupid. Hey, come on, boss. It ain't my fault if you buy a piece of junk. I told you these foreign cars are no good. Mort, come on. We'll tell the chief we don't want these superpowers anymore. Right, chief. This is the new powerful XJ-48 cosmic super bomb based on reanimated, laminated, vitamated protons. We keep it safe by using this high-security hole in the ground here. This is very dangerous. The slightest jolt, the least bit of pressure on that bomb, and... No huh? way, chief. Relax. It's covered with a sheet of super steel made from petroamorphous tungsten, so even a charging rhinoceros couldn't get through. Huh? Huh? A cockroach? A cockroach! Oh, no more! Uh, no uh, way! Uh, They're so uh, disgusting! Uh, After the terrible explosion at the TIA building, the entire staff were found thousands of miles away at the summer residence of Prince Akihito, who was outraged at this illegal occupation of his territory. Come back! I want to flatten two cockroaches myself! What happened, boss? What happened back there? Well, what do you think happened? We missed up as usual. Now keep running! 